Hello everyone. I'm Sudipti Dhanupati. In the previous session, we were discussing prepositions. So part of English verbal exam, we have prepositions to learn and to work out. So in the last session, we did some uh, kind of like, you know, uh, practice questions on prepositions, which uh, dealt with to, for, with, and about, and all those. So in the present session, we are going to do a few more uh, practice questions. And also, we are going to uh, see how these uh, prepositions go with some verbs, okay? A few verbs, kind of like example verbs will be given to you and how prepositions are going to go alongside, right? So, let's get started with today's session. So, now, first thing I want to introduce is like verbs with prepositions to so, what is this preposition to? You know the difference between to and for, right? And when we say we are using this preposition to to show the direction or path, okay? We so to show the direction or path and also towards something. And mostly it talks about the direction and relationship at the same time. And uh, so it could be any physical dis direction or like you know the kind of position from this place to that place from this end to that end and kind of possession so i give my notebook to someone look to who is that person some x some y some z so when you hint this uh, direction using this preposition to then it will locate the person you want to reach. So the destination point and the start, starting point are very well uh, you know, noted. So that is how you need to work on these prepositions, right? So here is a list of, a list of verbs and a preposition combination with to, okay? So you have to add to to all the following words. So I'm not saying irrespective of any context of these verbs in uh, use, uh, you uh, you know that you should use these prepositions. No, that is not the sense I'm trying to say. But the idea behind uh, you, uh, you know, hinting or showing this kind of uh, verbs that would take preposition to is to uh, make you aware of certain usages, like when you say allow to do something so it's so you have to understand the context of it by understanding the verb sense so you don't get confused by uh, do not try to memorize these verbs i i don't suggest that at the same time i'm not suggesting you to uh, bring to your mind or memorize all the verbs that i'm showing up on the screen but the sense is uh, understand the usage remember the usage and try to link it up with the uh, kind of verb you are trying to say. Okay, here is a list of verbs and preposition com combination with to add to. So allow to, allow to. So what is this allowance? Like, are you allowed to do something? Or like, are you allow allowed to work on something? Right? You are not very sure. Like, uh, like it could be anything. So, for example. X allows Z to work on the project. You see, here you have to understand the use and context of it. So, allowing someone to do something. So, that is a, a primary uh, sense or text of it. So, sense of it, allow to allow someone to do this so and so task or so and so work. So, that is a sense of it. Attend to what is you have to attend to somebody's need. So, when you are attending to someone, that it shows that to whom are you attending, to, to where, I mean, to, to what you are doing, like uh, what is the position, so what is essential function. So, if you are saying, what are you attending to, are you attending to uh, someone's uh, problem or are you attending to someone's uh, kind of like, uh, 
you know, work or project or workshop or seminar or conference, I'm attending to someone. So you are trying to show like to whom are you engaged in or with. So that is what like you are to whom are you engaged with or where are you engaged in or what type of work you are trying to take up. So that is a sense of it. And when you say belong to, when you when you say you belong to someone, you are uh, trying to restore. I belong to like possession, possessing, or like you you know you are talking about possession, the possession of something uh, of belong to or kind of. Um, I say when I say I belong to someone, well, you are talking about uh, the relationship. You are talking about the possession. Okay, this belongs to me. Or this pen is uh, pen book notebook belongs to uh, my friend. When you are saying again, you are talking about the possession possession of something. So that is the sense of it. Attend to belong to belong to to whom to whom do you belong? I belong to uh, you know fifth uh, section or I belong to that department. So again, belongingness. A sense of belonging or send, uh, this kind of uh, context is much understood, is much uh, hinted, uh, you know, at the, uh, you know, uh, at the disposition. So you have to understand that attend to someone's problem. Okay, you, be, uh, you know, that belongs to someone's, uh, the property belongs to some ex, you know, the, he is the right owner of it. So when you talk about the possession of anything this is how you will uh, you, you will uh, try to uh, you know show the sense of uh, relationship or possession or belongingness right so that is how you will use the preposition belong to consent to what is this consent to you can give consent to do something, right? You agree uh, to do something. You show your willingness. You show your acceptance. You show your, uh, you know, willingness to do all these things. So that is how you have to, uh, uh, you know, you have to do it. So uh, the, the respect, uh, irrespective of any other priorities, you say like, uh, I, you know, show my consent to, this kind of uh, proposal right so you can do all these things connect you connect you are connected to do something okay you, you are connected to that uh, group association or you are connected to someone where you work over there like you are connected to uh, people around like all these things right so that is one sense convert to convert to Convert it to someone from this to that state, from this state to that state. You're converted to uh, kind of like, you know, uh, this kind of belief, like from this kind of organization to another organization. So that is how you need to address the, uh, you know, uh, issue. Like she got converted from this to that and she converted this processing unit to minimizal unit like you you, you talk about uh, again the direction of some things from the state at which it was it was initially disposed or it was initially uh, implemented so you have to uh, show that kind of uh, clarity and you have to show the state and direction of it at the same time dedicated to you are dedicated to do something okay you you are dedicated to uh, come uh, you know do some uh, you know it's like you know conference or you are dedicated to produce some excellent result you are dedicated to produce a uh, very good uh, land, uh, you know project like all these things you can show these um, characteristics you are you can show this kind of uh, work so they allow to attend to belong to consent to connect to convert to dedicate to so you can use all these prepositions you know with this uh, verb with these verbs again some more listen to you listen to someone you know many times we see uh, we, we listen someone you see that's how people use we listen someone or we listen to you that is grammatically inaccurate you should not say that you should say we listen to 
a person, particular person. We listen to her. We listen to him like that. Refer to. Like you refer to someone. You refer to uh, some people there. You refer to, uh, uh, you know, so you refer to books. You refer to, okay, you kind of, re you make any some reference, okay? You make a reference to that particular uh, person. Like, th so that is the sense of it. You refer to uh, that person. So that is the sense of it. Like, talk to, talk to, you talk to someone. So, you talk to someone. So when you are talking again, once again, it shows to whom are you talking. I talk with someone. This is uh, is on and on interchangeable. You can say I talked with some people. That is right. But uh, if you have to, but in very uh, uh, in often context, you can observe this talk to is much widely used in in any context i talk to someone i talk to that person so that is how you need to behave okay you, you can talk about it next yield to yield to you give up to okay you give to someone yield to so that you you yield good results to uh you know to bring up something or uh, give give to you know he that that is uh, best uh, it yields best results to the person who can really achieve it so far. So you if you use yield to you are saying that you are giving to so that is a sense of it. Next apply to what is this application? You apply to uh, uh, kind you apply to someone it, it, who is in, in charge of it. Okay, to particular. Uh, position you apply uh, to that particular uh, place where you want to uh, work in okay apply to complain to you have to uh, it's like you know the the authorized person who is very concerned you complain to someone like again once again one more verb is used contribute to. how do you do it you contribute to someone okay so that is how you need to say. When you contribute to someone, you are saying that you are no more in. Uh, you are, you don't look at your own self. Like you contribute to someone means like you are uh, you know giving your hundred percent dedication. You are you are giving hundred percent your effort uh, input to that particular thing. Contribute to. Next, happen to happen. So what what happens? It happens to someone, okay, to that particular person. So it happened uh, to that group of people who uh, try to uh, jump from the uh, place, and so that that's what happened to them. So that is the context of it. That is the use of it. Respond to, you respond to someone, okay? You respond, uh, you respond to. People like you. That means like you give your response. You give your uh, kind of you when in any conversation you have like you converse with someone. You, know, you converse with someone there, and you give your uh, responses or you give your reply to someone. That is the sense of it. Invite to you. You invite someone to do something. You invite to a tea party. You invite to a party. You don't say invite for a party. But uh, you, 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 when you are talking about the place, when you are referring to the place or any uh, you know, starting point, at the same time, when you are referring to which uh, place or which project or which program, which function, which uh, setup, which context, which situation, then you can use this to invite to. Objective. Obje what is this like object to you object to someone okay you object to someone you ob you object to do or to accept something like this like objection your objection or your refusal is given like object to some work you you are objecting you're you are disapproving something okay you are disapproving something so as a result you say no to that particular place right that is the sense of it you subscribe to something you subscribe to something. So when you subscribe, you you are subscribing to a channel. Like that means like you give your uh, uh, agreement that you follow that particular uh, channel. So that is what you say. You subscribe to someone. So that is a sense of it. You travel. Okay. This is another. Travel to do something. 
you travel to uh, you know use uh, travel to any place so if, even when you use this context uh, this verb uh, travel you can say you travel to that place you travel to this place all that thing so that is how respond to invite to ob object to subscribe to you travel to any place so these are a few verbs where you can use uh, listen to allow to attend to belong to consent to connect to convert to dedic dedicated to refer to talk to yield to apply to complain to contribute to happen to invite to object to subscribe to travel to all these are a few topics okay so that is a sense of it next now let us look at uh, the verbs with preposition for like here is a list of verb and preposition combination with for okay combination with for you apologize for doing something so the reason so that is the that is a reason you are hinting at you apologize for doing something arrest for ask for call for check for fear for find for like uh, now let me uh, read out all the verbs where you can use for you forgive for hope for prepare for thank for wait for admire for excuse for pray for search for scold for vote for wish for work for now let us uh, see the explanation for each of these things arrest for so you are talking about the reason so apologize for so the here uh, this verb goes with the combination of you know with this verb uh, this preposition for you arrest someone for doing some uh, illegal act or any kind of uh, improper thing so for you are when you are talking about for especially remember that it is a uh, hinting at uh, the reason arrest for okay ask for you ask someone for doing certain you ask someone for doing uh, any particular work you know you ask for call for when you call someone you call someone for what you call someone for what for some work you call for a meeting okay so the, again that is a reason where you can talk about it you call someone for doing something check for check for so you check whether that has happened or not you check for availability you check for uh, the proper slot you check for implementation so when you are talking about it you check someone for some kind of like some work you you, you need to do that work and that is the reason you work for it fear for i have fear for committing this act i have fear for doing this act fear for something fine for fine for what it's like you are uh, you know given some fine okay you are given a fine for doing that so that is a sense of it forgive for forgive for you excuse that person for uh, you know his mistake okay uh, i forgive here the sense is not only the reason again what is the subject here when you are talking about the subject you can say that i excuse that person for you know doing that thing or i forgive him for offend even even you know even if he, if he has offended you i i forgive him for his mistake okay so that is the sense of it for his mistake he is forgiven for okay next hope for you hope someone for good you hope someone for bad uh, you know uh, someone for bad uh, for example like you do not like the person i hope so, uh, you know i hope bad luck for him he said right i hope good luck for him hope for better things again so your your expectations here you are expected to do something you know okay so you hope for something good to happen like so that is a sense you can apply right next prepare for what what are you doing you are preparing for your exams you prepare for your exams so that is a sense of it so when you don't say that uh, you prepare someone for something 
it's like you are talking about again for what is the cause here you are, you are trying to uh, hint at the cause so that is a sense of it next thank for you thank someone for doing something you thank someone for uh, helping that one you thank someone for completing work so that is a sense wait for okay so wait for wait for like you you are waiting for someone to complete that you are waiting for someone to finish that uh, project you are waiting some you know for someone to finish of that work so again the reason the reason you are waited upon so that is a sense next you admire for you admire someone for you appreciate for doing something you admire for uh, no so uh, for completing the work so again once again the reason so you admire someone for doing something okay so so any good act has been done then you admire someone for completing the work so that is how you will uh, categorize that is how you will structure so that is the sense of it next you excuse someone for helping that one so you excuse someone for you know uh, you know misunderstanding you or you excuse someone for committing a wrong act a wrong deed so that is a sense of it next you pray for you pay for someone okay you pay for something you pay for someone you pay for uh, some act some mischief act or some you pay for the that uh, committing that uh, you know wrong like a, a wrong a wrong act the sin so that is what like you pay for someone's uh, uh, you know mistake so that is a sense of it instead of that that person you are paying for them that is a sense of it next you pray for someone okay you pray for someone so that uh, when you pray for uh, someone to uh, it's like you know what do you pray for i'm not talking about pray to to whom are you praying that is different you are praying for certain cause so that is essential you pray for a person you pray for that uh, uh, mindful act next search for you search someone for that okay that is essential you search for uh, that particular a uh, paper uh, that you search for you look you look for right you look for something you search for something that is essential scold for gain the reason you scold someone for the wrong flag vote for okay vote for you vote to someone for you know helping that vote for wish for you wish someone for uh, doing that thing work for so that is a thing next list of prepositions a uh, list of verbs with preposition from here is the list of verb and preposition combination with from so what is this combination with from you abstain from you abstain from what is this abstaining from let at means like you are withdrawing yourself from that act okay you abstain from you borrow from you borrow from what you abstain from that is like separation you are separated from that that is a sense borrow from is like you you take uh, help or you take money or you take some resources from that uh, person you borrow from what is a starting point again the uh, way where do you borrow from choose from you choose from uh, the options given okay choose from the options uh, given in the context so that is the sense carve from carve from you carve from what from kind of uh, any base that you want to willing you, you carve from that uh, uh, it's like you know when you say uh, you carve from this uh, rock so that is the essence of it from where you have done that that is the sense come from again the place starting point this is a place he is in and he comes from this place derive from okay you are derived okay or this is this has been derived from you are trying to locate the source so if this is derived from that particular source that is a sense of it emerge from emerge from so where do you come again you know coming from somewhere it hails from something the origin point of it okay it is from this point you say um, it emerges from that okay expect from 
again the uh, i'm expect i'm expecting a lot of uh, privilege uh, it's like you know you're ex i'm expecting uh, my bonus from this so and so particular person okay that is how you say it. hinder from hinder from again the starting point where you face the hindrances forbid from again the starting point prevent from again the starting point from where what is that uh, you are prevented from recover from escape from so all this you are escaping from danger any danger that is what graduate from you are you have graduated from this university okay from the place again the place you hide yourself from all dangers hide from prohibit from okay prohibited from doing that protect from protected from that particular thing retire from you are you know you have been retired retired from rescue rescue from this so that is a sense of it save from so you are saved from that place okay you are saved from it. separated you are separated from resign you resign from that organization so you use all all these uh, verbs can be used with this preposition now let us look at uh, the list of verbs with preposition about using about we we saw to fro for from so far right now we will uh, look at another preposition with the, all these verbs so a few verbs here is a list of verb verbs preposition and preposition com combination with about argue about you argue about what in some subject ask about you ask about the subject some subject boast about you boast of something okay you boast of something boast about your uh, expertise or you boast about your scholarship uh, great scholarship you boast about your um, freedom or money your your uh, your uh, economic background is so good that you boast about that so all this uh, can be you know taken care of care about care about you care about people's needs okay you care about them so that is all complain about you complain about so and so people so that is the sense again like about whom uh, you are not very comfortable with concern about you are showing concern some concern right concern about dream about a uh, dream about feel about you feel sorry for that person so you feel sad about it forget about you forget about that person completely hear about hear forget about you know about the issue that you somewhere forget forget feel about you feel sorry about what has happened forget about hear about you hear about something joke about you joke about something know about you know about what you are doing laugh about about what you are really enjoying quarrel about what is the issue talk about what is the topic tell about talk about something and tell about something you you are talking about the topic anything think about you think about some matter warn about warn about you warn about some you know about uh, uh, you know uh, watching uh, obscene situ uh, scenes you want someone about disorderliness you want someone about mischievousness so all that so you, this is a cause again worry about you worry about someone's uh, flaws you worry about someone's problems write about you write about someone's uh, you know kind of uh, profile you write about their profile all that let us see a few practice uh, questions on prepositions which we started in the previous sessions so the father was anxious black the safety of his daughter and said i'll be with you black a minute so do you have to use for for to uh, you know in one uh, option you are given two prepositions so you have to choose which is the best uh, option on within over at for about in so the father was anxious what about the safety of his daughter about whose safety about the safety of his daughter and said i will be with you i and said i will be with you for a minute next sir now i'll be with you for a minute like is it is it that yes i'll be with you for a minute for example like 
is it is it is it right no i'll be with you for a minute though it conveys a sense but it is not appropriate i'll be with you in a minute okay i'll be with you uh, i'll be with you in a minute like in a minute also i will uh, come to you so that is a sense take this medicine and you will get rid of the dash bad cold take this medicine and you will get rid of the bad cold of uh, over the bad cold add the bad cold or from bad cold take this medicine you will get rid of a of the bad cold that is a sense of it option a is the right answer it is dangerous to enter the enemy's camp what it is dangerous to enter the enemy's camp so you have to use in on by into like is it uh, dangerous to enter the enemy's camp but here the enemy is not uh, the is a preposition is not given you can use the uh, preposition into okay so you can use that you can use that preposition into okay so because if if the is given then certainly you can use uh, the preposition the next i'm angry with blank his carelessness i'm angry with him blank his carelessness i'm angry with him on his carelessness i'm angry with him to his carelessness i'm angry with him for his carelessness so for for a reason for that reason i am angry with you so that is option c is a right answer it is dangerous to enter the dash enemy's camp it is dangerous to enter enemy's camp okay so what is the preposition you use in the enemy's camp on the enemy's camp by the enemy's camp into the enemy's camp it is dangerous to enter uh, again because uh, that that's a preposition you can use the into if in case there is not given grammatically the is right but in case if they don't give the then you can use into my cousin has invested a lot of money my cousin has invested a lot of money in blank farming invested in a lot in, a, in my cousin has invested a lot of money in farming or uh, for farm, farming my cousin has invested a lot of money on farming or my cousin has invested a lot of money on into farming you say just generally when you refer to some investment some kind of investment you can say my cousin has invested a lot of money in someone's farming okay in farm in someone's farm farming that is a sense of life he was vexed at sohan's for his behavior or he was vexed to sohan's sohan for his behavior or he was vexed upon sohan for his behavior or he was vexed with sohan for his behavior he was vexed up with sohan for his behavior so what what do you think is right you have to choose he was vexed up at sohan what well, you can say i'm vexed up with you you can say that is also right but here you can take the option vexed up uh, i'm vexed she is i'm vexed up at someone like because of that person you know at that person give example pertinent dash the case give example pertinent the dash pertinent to the case pertinent with the case pertinent for the case pertinent with the case you are, you talk belonging to okay you give example uh, that is pertinent to the case so that is the sense of it so you can use this uh, example right so we will continue the other practice prepositions in the next session until then remember all the verbs which uh, we have used along with certain prepositions thank you so you can use example give example pertinent to the case so that is what you have to do it pertinent to so belonging to about that okay so that is a sense of it next there is no exception dash this rule there is no exception dash this rule so exception for this rule or there is no exception to this rule or there is no exception at this rule or there is no exception about this rule so there is no exception to this rule 
exception means like not only to that okay so when you when you say that there is no exception to that means you are talking about to what is uh, uh, exception uh, exception uh, you know not given so we are trying to limit the options you are trying to list of that option and show what is that it is not comfortable okay or exception so you have to use two two is the uh, b uh, option b is the right answer a good judge never groups dash the conclusion a good judge never groups dash the conclusion on conclusion on the conclusion or to the conclusion or for the conclusion with conclusion generally you say for the conclusion he never a good judge generally he never groups for the you know he never tries to go for that or tries to limit or tries to uh, you know try to exercise for that particular he never be in a hurry to do it so for conclusion option c is the right answer i do not agree blank you on this point i do not agree with you on this point i do not agree in you on this point or i do not agree at you on this point or i do not agree with you on this point or i do not agree what i don't agree with you on this point with you on this point so that is a sense of it you have to uh, make sure uh, how you can uh, really uh, you know place yourself there i do not agree with you on this point so the option d is a right answer the indian macbay indulges dash long fight indian macbay indulges in you, whenever you say uh, indulging something or indulging at in on over we have to talk about in that some miss uh, wrong flat uh, something which is very offensive that you say indulging in some act so that is a sense of it the candidates were tense about what were tense about expectancy okay uh, with some expectancy because of that they were tense so with that kind of expectancy so if you use preposition with not in from on so when you say that uh, it's not possible to uh, come up with these questions like expected to like we say right expected from some kind of thing again when you say when you talk about you there is no exception to this kind of rule so when you have to talk about certain uh, rules and regulations you can definitely uh, you can definitely uh, use this these propositions so we talked about all this uh, mac p do not agree for into so the in this session we talked about on to for with at about uh, in into in at on see all all these propositions are very much useful and this is how you need to use the preposition so uh, when you don't uh, when you have to use it you should not get uh, prepositions you should not get tense for not being able to use it right so this is uh, how you need to utilize thank you so much for listening to the class patiently like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates